G'day everyone, Viv here. I hope you're all keeping well. Welcome back to the final episode in this short series. Yeah. Hello, how are you? This is my daughter Charlotte. She's joining us for this 10th episode in the basic series and she's going to help us put together a full turn of tribal where we take what we've learned in the previous episodes, string them all together in one, com one complete turn and um, see what happens. You're pretty excited, aren't you? So... No, I'm freezing. You're freezing. We should get a jumper and get into it. Thanks for tuning in. So, the first thing we need to do is flip one card to see who goes first. So you flip one card on the top. Here. You don't have to put it on top of mine. There we go. So I got an eight and you got a jack. You got the highest card, so you'll have the act the first activation in this game. So I'm gonna give you this little token and it's get, it's gonna sit there. Okay. Now, how many units do you have in your army? Can you count them? One unit of men here, this guy, and this guy. So one, two, three. So you pick up this card. And you draw two more cards from the deck here, so you'll have three cards in your hand. Got three cards? Okay. That's tricky. <laughs> now we need to give each one of these units on the table a card, okay? Keeping in mind that the cards that we're giving them are used for combat. So if you want a unit to get into combat, give them a good card. Excellent. Now it's your turn. You won the initiative. Remember we just flipped those two cards? And you won. So now you get to move one of your characters first. Mm -hmm. So which character do you want to move? And I'll teach you how to move him. You want to move that guy? Um, so you put the card there and then you flip him. Yeah. Put the card in front of him and move it. There we go. And you can do that two times if you want. That's called a sprint. There we go. Now this card, you take this one and it goes in your discard pile over here. Excellent, now it's my turn. Okay, I'm gonna move this unit of warriors here to fight your guy. It's gonna be interesting what's gonna happen. Okay, so- I think Mike's gonna win. Maybe it might. Now we're gonna have a round of combat, okay? So your guy, has five wounds because he's a champion. So you need to draw five cards. I've also got five one, cards. Two, so I'll draw three, five cards into my hand. Four, five. Wonderful. Now, because I charged you, I'm going to get to go first. That's called having advantage. Have you got all five of your cards or have you dropped one on the floor? I just have two on my lap and just trying to do the thing that you're doing. Holding them like this. Look at that. Okay, so I'm gonna play my card first, okay? Okay. I'm gonna play this Queen of Hearts. The heart will allow me, if I win this combat round, to change my next card. I'm gonna choose an eight. You're gonna choose an eight? Can I have a look at your cards? No, you play the eight. You, you play your hand the way you wanna play your hand, don't? You can show this camera over here your hand if you want. Do you want to show them your hand? No, you want to keep a secret? Okay, so I win this round of combat, so I'll get a point of honor from the honor pool. Actually, I should start with four, because we both have. So I won a point of combat. Your card, sweetheart, take it off the table and put it in your discard pile over there. Now, because I won that round of combat, I have advantage, so you need to play first. Mm. We played that first round slightly wrong. I had advantage, and you should have played first, but that's okay. Which card do you want to play? Three. You want to get rid of your three? No? Yeah? Okay. I'm going to play... Because that's a diamond. And look! Yes, some not a bad card. So I'm going to play my eight, which beats your three. Is eight higher than three? It is, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And because I played a heart last time, I get to change this. So I'm going to change it to a black card, which does damage. 
So I'll win another round of combat and do another point of damage to your guy. So take your card and we'll take it off the table. So I'm going to use these little white ones over here to remind us how much damage your guy has taken. So he's taken two points of damage. Mm. Now I won that, so I maintain advantage and you have to play again. Um, I'm mm. So I can only play the seven here, which means that you win that round of combat. So one of my guys gets killed. Oh! So do I take a white one? You take a yellow one. Yeah. And you put it up behind your unit here. That way we know how many rounds of combat you've won. And now your card goes in the discard pile. Yeah. Okay, now because you won that round, you have advantage, and I need to play first. So I'm going to try and play this 10. Uh, I'm playing this one. What's the other card? Oh, so what, what's your card? What's my card? I got a king. Yeah. So my ten is higher than your four. So I do another point of damage to your guy, and I win another round of combat. And the cards that are on the table get discarded into your pile. That's right. And because I won, I have advantage, and so you need to play first. Nine, and I got a ten. I got a king. But it's a red king, so he doesn't do any damage to you. But I still win this round of combat. Okay, so now we check our cards out. We've played five rounds of combat in this combat engagement. I've won four, you've won one, so your guy has to run away. Yes. So to run away, you need to use a card, and it's just like moving. So you now you need to move him away. Use the card, don't forget, sweetheart. Oh, yeah. So you're going to put the card on the table and put it next to him and then move him to the other side of the card. There we go. And now, this guy's taking three points of damage, so we'll leave those with him. Now it's your turn to pick another unit and do something with them. I'm going to sprint him up too? Okay. I might. I, I put my seven here. You put your seven there? Because I don't put my seven. I'm really not using that one. Okay, I'm going to sprint my chief mm. up and we'll fight your chief. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to win. Are you? Okay, so chiefs have six wounds, so you need to take six cards from the deck. One, two, three, four, five, six. And because I had to sprint into combat, you can draw another card. You can take another card, sweetheart. Yes. <laughs> Okay, um, I have advantage because I charged into combat. Dad, yeah. can I tell you something about, about my eight card? It's going to die. What, that card? That's going to do damage, hopefully. And I, so and you I, have to play one of your cards first. Oh, how much do you You're going to play the three? Okay. So I'm going to play this three, which is the same as yours. But so it's damage. That, that's right, a black card is a damage card, but I still need to win. Now I don't know, I can never remember if Chiefs are armed with short or long weapons. I don't know. I'll have to look that up, so we'll have to, we'll have to check later. Okay? So it's just a draw. So we use a white counter next do to, I, our, to combat. Do I? No, I'll, I'll do this one. You can do the next one. So we have a, a draw. Okay, so chuck your card out. And because I had advantage then and we had a draw, I lose that advantage. And you have advantage now and I need to play first. So I'm going to play this five of clubs. I'm going to play this ten of clubs. 
No, don't play that one. Why? Play this card here, this six of hearts. So you win this combat round, and the heart, the heart means that you can change your next card. Can I change oh, it now? Not just yet, after the combat's fought. Now we forgot one thing from last oh, from the last combat. You had lost that combat round, and so I get a point of honor from the honor pool and add it to my honor over here. Okay, so now we'll come back to this one. So you've just won that combat round, so you can take one of the yellow ones and put it behind your guy. And, <laughs> and um, our cards get discarded. I knew this card. So because you won that combat round with a red heart, you can change the value of your next card. So I need to play first. So I'm gonna play this eight of hearts. So maybe if I win, I can change my next card. Now what you can play is this 10 here. So play that, and you can change that to a black card which does damage. So do you wanna change this to a black card and do damage? Mm -mm. Yes, you do. That way, my chief is gonna take a wound. And, now keep that card. And you get another yellow counter. And you can put it here. Yes. And the cards on the table get discarded. And because you won that round, you maintain advantage and I have to play first. Okay. I'm gonna play this jack, this black jack. So have you got anything that's higher than a jack? I got two fours. You got a queen. You can play the queen, which is higher than my jack. <laughs> so it does another point of damage to me. You get another yellow one for winning. Yay! And the cards on the table get chucked out. Because you won, um, I have to play first. There's one, uh, they're, they're your honour points. That's what you have to start the game with. See, I've got some over here and you've got some over there. So we need to keep those. Um, let's take that off the table because it's confusing. So there's one more round of combat to play. One, two, three rounds you've won <laughs> and one round was a draw. So we've got one more round to play, even though we've both got lots of cards left. I'm gonna play I, this, I'm gonna play this queen. I've got three. Okay, so if you play that four, I'm going to do lots of damage to you. Because my queen is more than three times the value of your four. Play the eight instead. Yes. So I win this round of combat. So I win one. We can discard our cards that are on the table. And your chief will take one point of damage. So we can take these ones away. Do you want to put those over this side? This side? Uh, no, over this side here. Now, you won that round of combat, Charlotte. So you get an honor point from the supply pool. So you can put that one and add it over here. That, that's how many points you have. And my guy needs to retreat. So we'll move him back. And he has two wings. So I'm going to make some space for a circle. You're going to make him into a circle? Yeah. Why not? I'm going to put this piece for my other white ones. Yeah. Maybe you'll get another one. Now it's your turn again. The only unit that you've got left that can activate is the mud men over there. Mm. How can I move all? How can you move all of them? Good question, sweetheart. So we move one of them. So we move one guy, and everybody else just piles in around him. So you can just move them up into like their- Like this? Yeah. Exactly, you can spread them out a little bit, they don't have to be touching him. But when you move them, they all need to be able to fit, or at least touch, the card. So these guys might be a too, bit too far apart, we can just move them there like that. And so now that unit is moved, and it has what we call coherency. But they can't do anything else, so you need to chuck your card out. Okay. My champion over here, he is going to try and sprint into combat. I still have my two full cards. 
Park. Oh, those go in your discard pile, sweetheart. You didn't know. Yeah, I forgot about them. So that's one, and I'm going to sprint this guy into combat. I can do it with the next one. With this guy, you might win the next one. Okay, so your champ, your chief has six wounds. He's already taken one wound, so he's only got five wounds left. So you need to draw five cards from the top of your deck. My champion has five wounds. I already have one card, so I need to draw four more. take that one because I had to sprint into combat and so you get an extra card because I sprinted okay because really the, Joker. the Joker's a very good card because I charged into combat Does um, that help you win? well you win by having more of these than me if you've got more honor points than me then you win so far we've got five each I'm going to make mine into a circle. Well, you're going to make yours too. I'm going to make mine into this little square. Okay, I'm going to make this circle. Okay, cool. I charge into combat, so I have advantage. So you need to play one of your cards first. I would play that ace with the heart on it. I'm playing that too. I was hoping for that ace. This ace will allow you to change this ace into a black card if you win. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play my two against your ace. Because that's not a strike card, it can't do any damage to me. And so it makes sense for me to play my lowest card against your fate card. Because you're not going to overpower me because you're not doing any damage. Um, and I can get rid of my low card. Dad. So you win. You get a yellow token. And the cards on the table get discarded. Why are these tokens? Tokens help you win games. And are these, are these help you win games? They help you track what's happening in the game. Oh. They're little glass beads. So you, they, you put it behind your chief here who's fighting. Just put it behind him so we can tell the difference. And now your card gets chucked out too. You won that combat round. So I have to play first. I'm going to try and do some damage with my highest card, so I'm going to play this six. So I wouldn't play that card, sweetheart. I'd play that ten there. Why? No, actually I wouldn't. Keep this ten. And play that, and, oh no, you can play that ten. Play the ten. And you can change this, because you won with the, uh, the heart last time, you can change this red ten into a black ten and do damage. Why? Because that's what the, the red cards allow you to do. They allow you to change a, a card or your next card into whatever you want. So you change this into a black card and do damage to me. So you get another yellow token. I get a white one. I'll pick that yellow token because it's so shiny. That's a lovely choice. And you put it with your other one. Okay, so you've won two and your card on the table gets discarded, don't forget. Anyway. And now I need to play again. Okay, things are not going very well. Okay, I'm, mm. Change the diamonds, allow me to change your cards. Allow me to change your cards. Okay, so I'm gonna play this queen of diamonds. Okay. I wouldn't play that card, sweetheart, because it's lower than my queen, okay? What I would do is play... Hmm, play the joker. That's a red joker, so you can make it a heart. Yes! Okay? I always put it heart. <laughs> did, you, did you? They're so good. So the hearts allow you to change my cards, don't forget. So you win this round of combat, you get another yellow token. Yeah, you've got three tokens again! Yeah, you can, you're doing really well. The cards that get discarded, don't forget. Um, what you say, I'm just um, doing the cards. Just if the cards um, are not right. <laughs> discard, discard the joker. Oh. 
So that's a, a heart, don't forget. So I need to play first. I'm gonna try and do some damage with my four. Now, I put ace on them. you can play your ace. Yes, I always wanted to play that one. Did you? And you can make that ace into a black card and do damage. Now the ace is worth 14 points, which is more than three times the value of my four. Four plus four is? Can you count my fingers? Eight. Eight plus four again, so eight. Nine, 10, 11, 12. So I've got 12 and you've got 14. So you beat me by way more than three times. So I take two points of damage. You get another yellow token. Four in my right. Yes. Yeah. And then you discard that card. Okay. Now, I'm separating them and those two can be together. Yeah. Because I'm just making a circle with these ones too. Are you going to make a circle with those ones? Yeah. Like the other ones up there? Yeah, but I'm going to separate. Awesome. Next. So they got some space? Yeah. Okay, cool. So you won that round of combat. So you maintain advantage. And I have to play first. The only card I've got left is this five of diamonds. I do. Yeah, play the 10, which is, which is also a damage card. Now, I was hoping for damage because I really wanted to win. What I need to do is find out if you can give your chiefs a short weapon or a long weapon. Long weapon. Because if you've got a long weapon, then you need to beat my card by three times its value. If you've got short weapons, you only need to beat it by two points. So for example, I played a five here. I've been watching you play so I know. Do you? Maybe you can tell me. So what's five plus five? Five plus five. Five? Plus five. How many fingers have you got? Ten! Yeah. So your card is at least twice as, m as, more, as, twice as much of my card. So if you had a short weapon, you'd do two points of damage. So we have a quick look and see if you've got a short weapon. Let's find out. Leave him there. I'll check the rule book. Ah, oh, look! What? A chief starts with six wounds and is either armed with a short or a long weapon. Hmm. I didn't know that. I'm going to have to get some more miniatures now. Look, I didn't know. So that's, that's his bodyguard. He's got a bow and arrow, but the chief has a long weapon. Ah, he's got a long weapon. Let's put him back and just pretend for the moment that it's a short weapon and I might have to get a couple more figures. Why? Why can we pretend it's a short weapon? Because if it's a short weapon and you beat my card by at least twice as much, you do two points of damage. So I'll get two of these white ones. You'll get another yellow one. I was hoping for that. Just one yellow one. Our cards on the table get discarded. Your spare card gets discarded. I've taken five points of damage, which is enough to kill him. So my guy comes off the table because you killed him. You won that round of combat. And so you get an honor point. But instead of getting the honor point from the supply pool, you get it from me because you wiped out my unit. It's called blood payment. Normally, if you win combat, the loser retreats and you get a point of honor from the honor pool. But if you defeat that unit in combat and wipe it out, you still get a point of honor, but you get it from me. So that one is for you and it gets added to your circle up there. I need to put that one in there. In the middle? Okay, now we need to get rid of all of these tokens off the table. Can you help me? I've got all of them. And we'll put them over there. Excellent. And now, um, turn one is over, and we play another turn. So we play another turn the same way we started this one. We flip a card from the top of our deck. I don't want to play this so um, I can play. And we compare the values. So you, <laughs> what did you get? Ten. What did I get? Seven. Is ten higher than a seven? It is, isn't it? 
So you have initiative and get to go first. Yeah. Okay? Well, there we go, Charlotte. How many tokens do you have on the table? Six. And how many do I have on the table? Four. Who has more tokens? Me. Who's the winner? I am. There we go. Well done, sweetheart. So thanks for tuning in. That's a single round of combat in a single turn of, uh, of Tribal. It's very easy to play. Uh, you know, I highly recommend it to anyone who's interested in skirmish games. Um, it's great fun. Now, in the next part or the next se uh, season, I guess, or the next series of videos, we'll be talking about more of the advanced rules, skills, um, and then, um, you know, a bunch of the extra stuff in the back of the book, dirty tricks and, you know, card pools and all that sort of stuff, which, you know, help add a lot of flavor to our games. So thank you for watching. Thank you for playing with me, Charlotte. You're welcome. Congratulations on your win. And uh, I look forward to playing another game soon. Wonderful. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Bye-bye.